Apple. Yes, Apple my baby. launches its savings account wow. yes. with 1.4.15% interest. Now, now yeah. Apple has launched its Apple Card savings account offering a 4.15% annual percentage yield APY with mm -hmm. no minimum deposit or balance requirements. Important. Users can set up an account through a wallet app on their iPhone. Daily cash rewards earned through the Apple Card will automatically be deposited in the savings account and the users can change the destination of their daily cash or add funds from their bank account. The bank, the account is launched through Goldman Sachs yes. and a collaboration with Goldman Sachs and offers a higher APY compared to the average national <laughs> rate of 0.35%. So the average is 0.35% yeah. and Apple is coming in with 4.1%, but it's yes. only for Apple card holders. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can I go crazy real quick? Yes, but yeah, I told man. you. Banking, healthcare, fintech. We'll talk about quantum sciences later. Quantum com computing. There's only a few categories of business that matter. So, of course, if I was CEO of Coinbase, I would be concerned. If I was the CEO of Robinhood, kudos to Vlad, I would be concerned. 1.8 billion people have iPhones. Mm -hmm. So, even if they only get a fraction, let's say 10% of people to use the product, it's 180 million people. While banks are collapsing, I said this on Stock Club earlier, you have to decide if your business thrives when there's quantitative easing and a bunch of money flowing around, which is like a hype beast type company, or if you do best in a recession. Meta, Facebook came out during a recession. Apple was launched during a recession. So was Microsoft. Now with the trust that they built over 40 years and all the users, you don't think that they're going to take market share away from Bank of America, Wells Fargo, City while teaming up with one of the best banks, Goldman. And I'll be interested to see if JP Morgan then turns around and does a partnership with someone to kind of offset this. Investing is really, I don't know how to frame it any simpler. Like in every category, you want to go see where Goldman ranks amongst the banks. They didn't do this with Wachovia back in the day for a reason, right? St stay focused on the top two, top four in the sector. But the easiest strategy of all is two tech, two index. If it's a valuable sector or segment of the market, they are going to deploy capital there to eat up market share. And for everyone who's like, yes, Capital One has one yeah. at 4.6. UBS has one at 5%. Yeah. Most people in the United States have no fucking clue who UBS is. Most <laughs> people are not going to go to Capital One. This is a numbers game. Let's stop making it so complicated. Because I want us to get rich instead of talking about getting rich, right? I actually, I actually yeah. have, I actually have a Capital One account. You do. Me too. It, it, I mean, cut the check, Capital One. I'm looking yes. at my notes that what's I wrote in your in. wallet. Respect for what's in your wallet. <laughs> yeah, you, you just you nailed it, man. Right? Like there, there, there are uh, savings accounts that have higher yields, right? That's great. That's great, right? I think that the four point one five percent is like eleventh according to bank rate. But here's yeah. the thing, right? The ten. Banks that are in front of them, number one, you probably don't know seven of them. But here's what they don't have. They don't have one billion people at their exp no. exposure. Right? Like, like they have one billion people and growing. And growing at any point. But when we talk about financials, think about how one business helps the next, right? So in mm -hmm. order, like you just said, right? In order for you to have the savings account, you have to have the Apple card. So in the past six months, right? The Apple card has done well, right? After yep. that, they have they obviously have Apple, Apple Pay, but last month, surprisingly, nobody made no noise of it, but they put out their pay now, save later, save later uh, uh, yep. application. So if you think about these three things, like we got the pay now, buy now, pay later, you got the Apple card, now you got a great savings account. How do banks now respond, right? If the big four are only providing you with 0.35%, how do they respond? Collaborate, with fear. Collaborate with, with Google, fear, right? collaborate with Google. Well, I think, are you done? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So I think that um, this is an interesting story on a lot of different levels. But what strike, what, what I saw, the first thing that I saw 
was the power of collaboration. That's what I always talk about all the time. Yep. And it's like this, this, the number one technology company, the number one company, company in the world, yes. but let's say tech company, right? Teams up with arguably the number one investment bank in existence. Yep. It makes sense. Um, Apple has mastered technology, but they have not mastered financial services. Goldman Sachs. Yet. Well, Goldman Sachs has mastered financial services. So what's the easy way to fast track your way into financial services to partner with the best in the business, mm -hmm. right? So they, they best in the business. Um, and they obviously are going to, you know, take care on, on the financial side. Mm -hmm. Apple has the technology. Um, it's a win-win for everybody. I think Goldman Sachs is a company to, to, to watch um, out of this. Everybody's talking about Apple, but what about Goldman? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, 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 it's there. It's their product as well. Yeah. Um, so I, I feel like this is something that's extremely important. Goldman Sachs didn't fight to have their name on it. Right. This is this lessons in here. Yeah, no, like there's lessons in here. Like you're partnering with somebody. You see the value. OK, I'm going to come under your umbrella. That's a humbling. Goldman Sachs doesn't, is a billion dollar into multi billion, hundred billion dollar situation. They don't have to do that, but they see the value in the partnership. Mm -hmm. yep. We're trying to we're trying to convince regular people to partner, and they you they can't even agree on making a social media post. <laughs> you, know, you can't even you can't even come to an event, and and he, and they running trillion dollar entities, and they coming together. You, you, you're fighting over small things at the highest level of yeah. business. At the highest level, this is how business is done. Collaboration. This is why I keep saying it over and over again. But some people get it. Some people don't get it. But for me, I thought it was extremely a smart move for Apple. I think that this is going to really be beneficial for them. Um, I think that this will this will really put them more in the space of the financial services. I and, agree. Um, Everything that they do is just like, you know, one brick at a time, whether it's healthcare, whether it's, you know, rumors that they're going to get into the autom automotive space. Mm -hmm. they, nice. they took over music. Absolutely. They, they sure. took over music. You know Robbed the entire industry. So it's like, you know, the, the, Apple is just, it's, it's wearables is there. The, here's, the, here's the concern. At what point does it become a monopoly and government breaks it apart? The, the great part is, Apple, Google, and Microsoft have such a symbiotic competitive relationship that they'll always find a way at the same time to dominate a market at the same time where enough of them share enough of the market share to not get monopoly charges. I think they learned a lot from Bill Gates. So if they go first and then Microsoft goes second, because if you don't think that the CEO don't talk, they do. There's a reason why Microsoft got open API and then Google pushed for it with Bard, even though they had the technology first. Mm. Same with Microsoft. Microsoft initially had a iPad before Apple did. No one just wanted it from Microsoft. They had it in 1996. Yeah. Then Apple becomes prominent. Then Windows make the push. So I think they're going to team up enough to make sure they have enough market share where they can dominate, but they'll share with each other so no one can get uh, that, that monopoly thing pushed against them. And I truly believe at one point, Apple will be the number one technology company while being the number one healthcare company and while being the number one financial services company in the world. Give it it's like, years. Cause it's like Rockefeller at one point, Rockefeller did everything. Right. And it was like, this, and as it's just, when you become so big, it, 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 now you start to put so many different targets on your back and you know, you got government regulators, you got the competition, oh. you got people that want to break you apart. Um, even the phone companies that happened with the phone companies, mm -hmm. they, had, they, had oh, they, broke, they yeah. broke the phone companies apart. And now Apple is the biggest company in the history of the world. So if they, if they, if they try to break Apple, that's going to be hard, but it's just, it's going to be tough. I'm and the just, consumers want it. It I'm wasn't just, the that, same that, tactics. That, yeah. The brand recognition is so strong that it, can you do too many things at one time? If you do, they, well. they found a way to do the right things. Well, sure. if you're doing yeah. well, right? Yeah. Like the wearables by themselves. Billion dollar business. They've they've done it well. Yeah. They moved into healthcare. It's still a, it. I mean, it's kind of premature right now, right? They have the Apple Watch. They haven't really released what they're doing with the information yet, but I'm sure there's a plan in place. Absolutely. When, get, when they get into the EV space, is the brand recognition will allow it to have errors, but also allow it to grow exponentially as well. Which is interesting. Like most businesses don't have that, where you can yeah. have errors and grow at the same time because. People just trust the brand so much. That's why when you look at it, 
people, if they know that they can just have an Apple card, number one, mm -hmm. it's like, yo, you're part of a society. Like when I apply, this is, this is crazy. Like when you apply for it, they're yep. not just taking anybody. Yes. Your credit score got to be a 730 just to have the Apple card. So you can't even get the same savings account. So you're thinking about they're getting accredited people with high scores. Right. And usually when people have high scores, that means they're financially responsible. And so you, those are the type of people that you want. And they refer better people at exactly. higher scale. And this it's is well played. Too, like, it's well even played. If you break them up. Let's say if you broke off the app store, app, the app store is still going to get 30 percent of every business in the app store. And if we collapse Apple, it will collapse the entire stock market. Apple and Microsoft is really the only thing keeping the stock market afloat right now. Two players is keeping everyone afloat. So you're in a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Break up the company into smaller pieces and they'll dominate the top 15 or keep it together and they keep the stock market afloat. Well, While stock, we have this issue with bricks. My graduates from my school being Forbes, bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs> a mic drop. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs>